Alley Cats Indie Viewer. So today I'm reviewing It Comes at Night, the latest film from Trey Edward Schultz, which stars Joel Edgerton, Carmen Jogo, Christopher Abbott, Kelvin Harrison, and Riley Keough. And if you've seen the promotional material for this film, you would think this is a straight up horror film. It's being marketed as a super scary film and just seeing the trailer you're like, this is going to scare the shit out of me. WRONG! This was marketed just like It Follows and The Witch was, is marketed as being way scarier than it actually is. But that doesn't mean it's not a great film. I actually really enjoyed It Comes at Night, but this is going to be a divisive film, I can already tell you that. You're either going to love this film or you're going to think it's utterly boring and hate it. So the film follows his family, led by Joel Edgerton's father character, and this is taking place sometime after a virus has rampaged around the world and wiped out a bunch of humanity. And Joel Edgerton's family is doing all they can to survive. And one day they meet another family that is trying to also survive in this crazy world. And they decide to cohabitate together. And it's about how these two families are trying to survive in this desolate world where they have to worry about where their food comes from, if the water's dirty, and they have to constantly worry about if they're sick or not. And this is a very slow-burning, atmospheric thriller. There are a few scary bits in the film, and they are very effective. They are deeply unsettling. They crawl under your skin and just make you feel icky. But for the most part, this is more of a thriller film, and it's very slow-burning, like I said. And that's what's going to turn off a lot of people. The pacing is very slow. But I feel like that benefits this film, in my personal opinion. All of the acting is superb. The cinematography is stunning and gorgeous. And Trey Edward Schultz has a way of making you feel like you're in the film with the characters. This is a very claustrophobic film. You feel like you're in the house with these characters. And it feels like you're actually a part of both of these families. The story is a little predictable, I will admit. But the performances, the amazing atmosphere... The way that Trey Edward Schultz immerses you, the viewer, into the film and leaves you with the impression of feeling icky and unsettled makes this film worth watching if that's your kind of film. If you're expecting a straight up horror film, you'll probably go in being disappointed. If you're not a fan of slow burning thrillers, you'll probably be disappointed if you go see this. But I personally give It Comes at Night 4 out of 5 stars because it worked. It was an amazing film in my opinion. And I really enjoyed it, but I can see where some people are going to absolutely hate this film. Just like people hated The Witch and people hate It Follows, this is going to fall into the same category. So if you like this video, leave a like. Let me know down below if you've seen It Comes at Night and what you thought about it, if you have seen it. And also make sure to share the video if you liked it because that helps my channel grow. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, but you like what you see and heard, please hit that subscription button and also tap the notification bell so you're a part of the Alicat Notification Squad, which means you should be alerted, should be being the operative phrase here, whenever I upload a new video, start a new live stream, all that great stuff, and you'll also gain extra brownie points in my heart. And if you'd like to follow me on social media sites, they're all listed in the description box down below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and kisses. Bye. Oh, 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 oh jeez guys, I'm so sorry you had to see my terrible dancing, but while you're here, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you'll see my face floating over here in the near future. Click it and I'll sub you to my channel. Also make sure if you want to see the last video I uploaded to click that up here. If you want to watch a playlist of videos that you can watch over and over again, that'll be down here as well sometime in the near future. I'm just going to go back and go back to my horrible dancing now, okay?